everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. Super Bunny for the Apple II computer. This was a game that I remember playing a lot in my elementary school as a kid. Well, I didn't own the elementary school, obviously, because, well, I was a kid. But, uh, I remember in our library, we had, like, six or seven computers, but only five discs of this game. Hope that's not too loud. And we would be pretty much chomping at the bit just to play this game. Because it was just a lot of fun. Essentially what you do, you go from left to right to get the super carrot that makes you super bunny. And then when you're super bunny, now you can go and beat up all the enemies. If you're the regular bunny, obviously you can't hurt them and you will lose a life. You'll also lose a life if you touch the lines. Ah, damn. Got it. There's six levels, by the way. Losing a life as early as level 1 is somewhere I do not want to be. Because the levels are going to get tougher later, trust me. Ah, come on. Yeah, let's just try that again. If you run out of time, you just revert back and you gotta get the carrot again. The later levels, the time limit is much smaller. So, this is on Apple II computers, it is also on the Commodore 64. I never played that version. We're doing super, are you sure about that? Usually when you play this game, you... Oh, let me get that. You'll get enough score for two extends, but that's it. So if I'm not talkative, well... This requires an immense amount of concentration. I took Super Bunny very seriously in my heyday. And I was able to beat it a few times. Another cycle for this. We're not even at the toughest stages, by the way. I would say level 4 is when it starts to get tough. There. Onward and upward. So yeah, the reason why I found level 4 pretty tough, because that second column is like a very fast elevator. My reaction time was not great as a kid, and you thought my reaction time was real bad now. Man, you should have seen me then. Oh, thought I messed up there. I get that tiger? No! I thought I had more time than that. What the flip? Um, that was weird. Oh, 
Okay. Vaporize those varmints. Spitting up toxic sludge. Or smoking it, I don't know. I'm not gonna tell a bunny how to live its life. Would you? They'll be looking at you like you're silly. And they might be right. If you're not lined up with the carrot when you jump towards it, you just get sent to the start anyway. I was always fascinated by the types of monsters you run into, because most of them are animals. But then you look at the first and fourth column, like what the hell are these? What animals are they supposed to be? Oh, what the hell? Oh my god! Wow! Lost all my lives on stage five. Now I gotta do it all again. get it this time. As long as I don't get tilted. I can earn at least one more life after this level. Got it. it could be the champ! Oh, I hated this level. Cause look at this. But you gotta contend with the first and second column. They go the same direction, but their speeds are different. Close. No! What the hell is that thing? It's like a dinosaur. Oh, my heart is racing now. I got two lives to do this. Get this one. Oh, right, the last second, too. So, all I've left is the snake. And look where it's two. I have to wait for it to get all the way back to the bottom and then start scrolling up. I did it! Oh, ho! Congratulations! Scan lines and all! Rabbitville is gonna get all the chemtrails of Super Bunny today. Alright, what happens now? Oh, it just stays on that screen forever? Is that it? I'm hitting enter. Oh! Nope, you're just doing New Game Plus, pretty much. It doesn't change anything. So I guess I'll just keep going until I run out of lives. So anybody watching this video, have you ever played this game before? Was this in your school? Or did your kids ever try it? 
Well, I guess your kids probably never tried, because the Apple IIs were long obsolete. But still, it was a great distraction when we had, like, computer class or a lunch break, and we got to go in the computer lab right next to the library. There was another game that we played a lot. It was some geography game, or at least I played it a lot. And now I think about it, there was something else. The Dr. Brain it was! It was one of the Dr. Brain games. I've been wanting to play that as well, but I couldn't get it to work here. Which was a damn shame. So I practically did well at a lot of Dr. Brain. Well, except for the music part. That I struggled with. When it comes to, like, creating music and dealing with music notes, I'm musically illiterate. I'm sorry, that's just how it is. I can't be talented at everything, you know? I'm only one man. If I somehow, like, uh, finish the second loop, I'll, I'll just stop here. Even if I do still have lives. You know, anything just to keep this video from being way too short. But yeah, this was my jam back in the day. I'm curious as to what the highest score is of this game. Somebody, somebody definitely has this on a Guinness World Record. I mean, you can get score just by hopping from platform to platform. You don't even have to hit the enemies. Oops. That was my first death in this entire loop. Yeah. The lung capacity on this bunny. Oh, two close calls there. For anybody who's just surprised that I'm playing a game like this, listen. When I said that I do like a variety of different games, I mean it. You thought it would stop at Barbie games, huh? Hell no. Sometimes it's old Apple II games. I feel like there's a waste of time just waiting here when I could have gotten the other columns. But that thing looks like a bat, so it has to die by... You know, by principle. Also forgot to mention if you like go to the to the top or the bottom of the screen you you die that way too. Enemies and platforms loop, but you sure as hell don't. I could be a two-time champ. Let's do this. Let's make the dream real. I don't think I've ever been this game twice in a row on, like, the same credit. I want to see if I can do it. Oh, not like that. 
That gap always messed me up. I think I could just make it back to the same platform from the other side, but it's very risky. And you gotta start mashing inputs like crazy. I think this is the same order if I defeated the enemies, huh? If the snake ends up being last again, it is exactly the same. Oh! Well, I got 42,267 points. I was really close. Did way better than Patrick L. He, he took quite a few L's. Super Booze L. Yeah, you got some L's on you as well. My four asses beat y'all. <laughs> Yeah, I did practice this like a couple weeks ago, and it does save your top scores, which is nice. So that's it. That's Super Bunny for the uh, Apple II computers. Hope you all enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed taking a blast to the past. So this is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I shall see you next time.